we're about to do here is a live demonstration of the Neuroscale platform wherein we will be recording data from this dry wireless EEG system made by Cognionics and we're streaming it up to our servers on the cloud and we're classifying the subject's brain state in the vehicle. In particular, what we're doing is what's called a mismatch negativity paradigm wherein we have deviant sounds which are unusual sounds and we have standard sounds which are common sounds and what we're doing is looking at the ability to detect whether or not a deviant sound was played or a standard sound was played based on the brain responses of the individual and all this will be happening on the cloud in real time over the Neuroscale service using the Neuropipe computational framework. This is probably the first time this has been done in human history. We shall begin. So the first step is to calibrate the training model. And to do this, we run a script where we play back tones, both deviant tones and standard tones, and then we build a statistical model based on the brain response's relationship to those tones. And we use, we'll be using these to classify in real time which of the two types of stimuli were played. After that, we'll do a test session where in live, real-time context, we'll be playing back those tones and looking at the probabilities of which tone was played based on the brain response. So we have now concluded the calibration, and the next phase is the test phase. Here we'll play back live data, and we'll classify the brain state in real time. So what you'll be seeing is a figure pop up on the screen, where you'll see a bar that moves to the right if the sound that was played is predicted to be a standard, and it moves to the left if the sound that was played is predicted to be a deviant or an oddball. The length of the bar will reflect the probability of the model in terms of whether it's an oddball or a, uh, or a standard. If the uh, bar is green, then that will indicate that the prediction was correct. And if the bar is red, that will indicate that the prediction is incorrect. So we can see the accuracy of the model.